Now to the coronavirus and a new variant spreading quickly across South Africa. Dr. Anthony Fauci giving an update today about the U.S.'s response to this latest strain of the virus. We're finding more about it and literally it's something that in real time we're learning more and more about. Joining us now live to talk more about this new variant is Dr. Monica Gandhi. Thank you so much for joining us, Dr. Gandhi, and happy Thanksgiving. Thank you, <laughs> Thank you. you too. Now, first of all, the, the new variant is called Omicron. Omicron, how are the experts pronouncing it? Looks like it's Omicron, Omicron. which is really interesting because the next one would have been new, but it may sound like new is too like new. So they went with Omicron. Okay, Omicron. All right, well, talk about this new strain and to, how does it compare to the Delta variant? So um, there are two questions about how it compares to the Delta variant. One, remember the Delta variant has been the dominant strain since the beginning of March, because that's when it arose in India at a 4% vaccination rate. Omicron is maybe more transmissible with Delta, but we really do need a little more data before we say that for sure. And then the Delta variant has 11 mutations across its spike protein, and the Omicron variant has something like 32. So it does have more mutations across the spike protein. But it does look like the vaccines work well against Omicron. And um, there's a, if we have time to go into it, it really has to do with the immune system and how our B cells and T cells work. They're very in breadth. And well, so even if you have 32 mutations, they're still going to work. Okay, that's, that's, we need to clarify that because I think a lot of people perked up saying, wait, what, there's another scary mutation? I just got my booster. Now my children are getting vaccinated. How worried should we be if, if you're vaccinated, if you have a whole family that's vaccinated? If you are fully vaccinated, you should not be worried. There are three reasons why. Number one is that those who were fully vaccinated but happened to have it in their nose and they were swabbing because they were going on travel in South Africa mm -hmm. were completely asymptomatic. It means the vaccines work. Second, the people who had it, who had symptoms, were people who had not been vaccinated yet. So the vaccines, two doses work. And then third, it actually has to do with how your immune system works, but um, essentially the B cells that we make from our vaccines, they don't just produce antibodies. Your antibodies will go down with time. But when they make new antibodies, they're directed against the variant they see in front of them, aided by your T cells. That's just a function of our immune response. So I don't think there are some people going to tell you that they're worried that they're resistant to the vaccines, but I don't see how that can happen immunologically. It just means that at a 23 percent vaccination rate, South Africa was not ready um, meaning this is where this is going to emerge mm -hmm. is variants and that's why we need global vaccine equity. The bottom line is everybody needs to get this vaccine. Is it possible? They do. Need, they do. Is yeah. it possible that these drug companies are going to be tweaking the vaccine to accommodate these new variants that are coming along? So Moderna and Pfizer have already said today that they will make an mRNA vaccine that looks like the Omicron. I don't know if it will be necessary. Again, okay. we are not seeing that uh, that people who aren't vaccinated are getting sick. People who are fully vaccinated are not getting sick. So they're going to be ready, but I don't know if we're going to need it. And how, when we're talking about this new variant as well, is it more deadly? Do we know that yet? Are people getting sicker than they were with Delta? You know, we don't know that yet. And the kind of information we need is how sick are people? How sick are they if they're young? How sick are they older? Mm -hmm. One thing is that usually a variant can't become more transmissible and make you more sick. The Delta variant definitively has been shown. It was more transmissible, but it was not more virulent. It did not make people more sick. A CDC MMWR article from a month and a half ago showed us this. So it's very hard for a virus to go both ways. It's like you can't get superhuman. So I think it's going to be more transmissible, but hopefully it will not be more virulent. But we don't have enough information yet. Right. Well, we're at the height of the holiday season. A lot of folks are going to be getting together, a lot of folks traveling, coming back with Thanksgiving and Christmas and the other holidays. How do you see this variant impacting travel and family gatherings? I don't see it impacting family gatherings in, in especially in fully vaccinated households. Again, Remember that this variant, once you see it in South Africa, it probably, it was also in Hong Kong and in Botswana, it's probably in Europe. But at places where we have high rates of vaccination, the Bay Area, 80%, anywhere that's 75%, hospitalizations are staying very low. And this variant was probably out here even longer than this last couple of days. Hospitalizations will stay low at high places of vaccination. So please try to go to fully vaccinated 
family gatherings. And if someone's unvaccinated, please do swabs of, of people to make sure that they have no virus around them because uh, those are the people who are most, we're most concerned about unvaccinated. Okay, so when in doubt, get a test, especially if you're unvaccinated. Yes. All right, Dr. Gandhi, thank you so much.